Hi, welcome to the backyard. I'm Joe, and we got Jerry uh, Jerry Kunza with us today. Welcome, Jerry. Glad to glad to be here. So, so. well, fall is upon us, and, and it's uh, it's just come up pretty fast here. Um, and uh, football is, is on a row, and, and uh, Vikings actually won, so everybody's in a pretty good mood here. And so is the corn, and corn side just beans <laughs> are on the roll, too. Yeah, so. it, it comes in a hurry. You know, this last week we got 80 degrees and we got some wind, and uh, what that'll do is that will that will push corn along. Um, we had our plot days out at Dean Schultz. That went really good. Um, but um, we do a lot of plots in this area. Uh, we do them for Dairyland Seed, and, and we, do a, we do a grain plot, which will have 10, 15 different varieties in it. And these are our official plots for Dairyland. We also do a hay plot, and that's an official plot for Dairyland, and it gets harvested every 30 days. And then we do a corn silage plot. Um, and it's, it's not just planting the corn and, and doing that. We actually have to, uh, once it's planted, we have to monitor it. And uh, Jerry actually does that. He gets the field set up with the producers. And then once it's, uh, once it's planted, we monitor it. And then we come to the point where we have to harvest it. And uh, that's where it really becomes, yep. uh, Jerry takes care of that, him and Tyler. And I'll just kind of turn it over to you and we can and, go from there. With the alfalfa test plot, it's a three year uh, plot in Dairyland. They come up uh, for each cutting, first, second, and third, with their machine. And they cut a strip out and then they send it in for uh, nutritional values and tons and so on along with competitors are in there as well. So, and even like at Dean Schultz, that's a research plot. So that's going to be uh, made across uh, news across the Dairyland world. So, yeah. Right. yeah, these are these are actually official test plots. So, uh, and the reason we want that is we want that data for right here in our region. It's really important that we can tell our producers that here, this is growing right in our backyard. This yeah. is what you got for yield on each one of these varieties. Uh, and that's really important. And that's the same with the alfalfa, same with the corn silage. I know you and Ty just came back from the corn silage, uh, and these are some big cobs, Jerry. This those, is, are, uh, those are awesome. This is picked the other day. Here's a, another big one. I don't know what you got here. That is a 105 day uh, experimental uh, corn. Uh, okay. For corn silage, right there, and that's a big uh, that's a big right. cob as well. So. This is probably one of the most uh, aggressive. It's got a big uh, big girth to it. It's a it's a big cob. Goes 20 around, 40 long. This baby's going to this uh, is going to yield some. That uh, one some there's damage. a 94 day. 94 day, and look at the size of that cob. That's that's phenomenal. Of course, this uh, plot is uh, is irrigated. We know exactly how much water it's got, uh, when it was uh, tilled, how many times it was tilled, when it was planted. So all that data gets uh, programmed. And then these guys will go out there, what, later this afternoon, I believe, is when you're yep. scheduled to go out there? And, and get it chopped off and weigh it. So, and a lot of times you can still stress on the corn if you see uh, whenever it happened with small kernels in a, in a row across, you know? So yeah. it's pretty obvious, you know, if they're short of nitrogen, whatever. So. This particular cob here, this came off of a different place over by yep. Sabika, but yep. they obviously ran out of nitrogen. They ran out of fertility in the yep. soil. And, and that was and, uh, uh, actually too much water as well. So Yeah, that was right. real low area. Right. But the corn silage plot's coming af off this afternoon. They'll go out there. They'll sample each and every one of the uh, varieties. Um, it's kind of a precise deal. They weigh every truck on and before, on a scale, off the scale, get the exact tons per acre. And then we send in all the data, all the information to uh, uh, Rock River Labs down in Wisconsin. Yep. And they come back with a digestibility test of NDF and ADF and whole plant digestibility, which is really important for us that are doing rations and, and doing nutritional work for the livestock. Because then we know where we're at with flowery starch and things like that. So, And uh, I and the Dairyland guy were out to some places last uh, week, or no, two weeks ago, and looking at even stocks. You know, like for root worm and uh, root rot and different types of uh, diseases. So, and that was that was it was a lot more of that this year. I think it's because more. of the uh, the growing season we had. We had so much rain, 35, yeah. 40 inches of rain. Uh, very uncharacteristic, very cold weather. Nothing. We didn't have. I don't know yeah. if we had a day over 90, did we? Yeah, the, the it's cold unreal. weather. The, when they planted the cold ground, really yeah. caused a lot of that. So. 
So, but uh, this is what we do. I mean, we do a lot. Of, we spend a lot of time. We do a lot of work on it. We take it very seriously here at JL. Yeah. Uh, the corn, uh, the, the corn, the soybeans. We got a test plot. That's coming out this afternoon. I got Mike and Scott over in that one. That's coming off over by Elizabeth this afternoon. So, hey, that's that's what we do. It's yeah. not just planting the seed and harvesting it. There's a lot that goes into it. And rest assured that we know the varieties that will actually perform in this area. So, hey, I want to thank you for tuning in to JL in the backyard. Come on and see these guys. Uh, uh, they got a lot to, lot to show you. Thanks. Thanks. Yard.